What's going on everybody? It's Chris from Sit and Smoke Hookah bringing you guys a review. Today is uh, November 15th. Today at Five Star Hookah we just received three new flavors from Haze. They are right here. We got Sub-Zero. We got, uh, fuck, what's the other one? Pumpkin Surprise. And, oh, I'm sorry, Pumpkin Pleasure. And we got Skills on the Rocks. I should have remembered those before. Today's review is going to be on Skills on the Rocks. Uh, so today I got my setup. I'm using a... Um, KM Double Wheat with a new hose. I got a uh, Godfather Bowl glass, uh, three Cocoa Dramas on top, and a Gold Trim uh, tray. That always helps the smoke a lot, you know, makes smoke a lot cooler. I'm just trolling. Also, I'm using a Roy, uh, Roy Hookah Beats in my base. At the moment, they're not expanded because you'd be able to see them. Uh, if you guys haven't heard of the Roy Beads, they're right here. They look like basically what they are, like little tiny beads that kind of expand. Uh, just a little, you know, shout out for that. Uh, I thought they were a pretty cool idea. These ones are glow in the dark. I tested them pretty cool. Like, they're in my room, just like in a little glass and all glowy and shit. But anyways, uh, so today's review is going to be on Skills on the Rocks. Um, it is a Sex on the Beach flavor from, uh, from what I can smell and taste. Smoking this for about maybe 20 minutes. The coals are a little small at this point. Left them on the burner for a little bit too long. Anyway, so... Here's what the can looks like, you know, nothing special, basically just a normal haze can. This is actually my um, first haze product I've ever owned. This is my first time packing haze on my own. Um, so, uh, I didn't really know what to expect. I smell a lot of the flavors. I've had a few flavors, pretty good stuff. Um, not really my thing, not my style, but, you know, it's always good to try new things out. So, anyways, the smell on this is great. Definitely a lot of... Uh, I mean, it's hard to pinpoint exactly what fruits I'm smelling, and what flavors. Um, knowing that it is a Sex on the Beach flavor, so I'm assuming, uh, it's safe to assume that it's basically going to be pineapple uh, with citrus flavor, basically like an orange, lime, sometimes, you know, a cranberry, uh, judging on the, uh, the ingredients of the drink itself. So the smell of this, it's hard to pinpoint exactly, you know, which fruits, if you didn't know what went into this kind of, uh, into the cocktail, it'd be hard to tell, you know, what fruits are basically in this, uh, in the smell, uh, on the flavor. But knowing, yeah, I can definitely pick up, you know, some citrus hints, pineapple hints, things like that. So the smell isn't always everything though. It's always about the taste. So like I said, it's been going on for maybe 20 minutes. Pretty decent clouds. Not really used to packing haze. I don't know how to get the full potential of it out yet. I'm um, using, like I said earlier, I'm using the Godfather bowl. Pretty good bowl. Love packing it in there. Uh, you know, nice simple funnel bowl. Smoking great. No throat tickle. Nothing like that. Not that I'm getting. So the smoke itself is very smooth. So that's always a good thing. Uh, you know, I hate. I hate, uh, you know, flavors that always have, like, that throat tickle. Uh, there's no chemical taste, surprisingly. You know, I, I was expecting at least some sort of, like, you know, some nasty kind of, like, artificial tasting. Uh, no, I'm not really getting anything like that. It's actually a very good, bold, uh, boldish flavor, like... Actually, no, bold wasn't exactly the word I was looking for. I was looking for more of, like, a mouthful of flavor. Um... Flavor strength is very strong. Uh, it's definitely there. It's not a light flavor whatsoever. You know, getting nice, nice flavor from it. Um, nothing over too powering where you just get sick of it. Uh, very good flavor. Very sweet. Uh, on the exhale, there's a slight bitterness in the back of the tongue. Um, you know, but I'm not saying that like it's a bad thing. It just, it's, it's, a, it's like a compliment to the flavor, actually. So, very sweet on the inhale, a little bit bitter on the exhale, and a sweet as well. Uh, on the inhale, I'm picking up a lot of the pineapple notes. On the exhale, it's more of like the citrus plus the pineapple. You know, it's it's very it's hard for me to basically like say um, you know what fruits I'm tasting because they're very well blended together. You know, not not one flavor is uh, overpowering the other. So I've had uh. Three Sex on the Beach flavors, um, hookah-wise, uh, thus as far, this being the third, and I have to say that this one is the best. Uh, I don't remember the other one that I've tried, but I have tried the Tangers Foreplay on the Peach. I love that flavor. Uh, to be completely honest, I actually prefer this flavor over the Tangiers flavor, which is very odd for me to say because I'm honestly, like, 
very avid tang juice smoker. I never say anything bad about it. And um, but honestly, like this flavor definitely kicks foreplay on the peach's ass. Um, fully in my opinion, and you guys uh, might have different thoughts. Definitely very good flavor. I mean, I have no complaints about it. It's uh, heat management's very well. You know, it's not burning or anything. Uh, the coals are small. You know, still getting full-bodied smoke. Still getting some pretty good clouds. Uh, even with my lack of um, knowledge of packing uh, haste tobacco. Um, you know, the smell is very good. The aroma is great. The smoke kind of lingers on. Uh, honestly, like I said, no complaints. It's a very good flavor. Very glad that I tried it. Uh, so, yeah, this came out today, November 15th. I have not tried the other flavors yet. I'm very excited for those. They'll smell pretty good, too. I'll try to do a review on that. But, anyway, Skills on the Rocks. Excellent flavor. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Um, don't really know why I'm docking the one point off. It's always just like something that's kind of missing for these kind of like fruity flavors for me to give it a full 10 out of 10. I might just have very high expectations. I don't know. But definitely 9 out of 10 is very good for me. Uh, great flavor. Hope you guys check it out, especially if you're into haze and especially if you're into these kind of like fruity cocktail flavors. This one's definitely one you do not want to miss out. Uh, that's pretty much all I got to say. Uh, it's No Shave November. Definitely represent that. And uh, please check out 5 starhookacom These three flavors are on stock. Good flavors. Uh, again, try them out, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe on my channel. I love it. I like waking up to emails and there's fucking there's subscribers and comments. It makes me happy inside. If you don't like me, that's cool. You know, I do ramble. I say oh, a lot during my reviews. But anyways, take care, everyone. Thanks for watching and have a good night.